Well, hey, everybody. I figure it's since I'm trying to bring back fun facts with Discord, since we uh, now have the studio up and running here, it's actually something I could sit down and do since it's usually a longer running series. Um, I figured we'd play catch up with this binge compilation. So this, I believe, is 28 to the one that came out a few days ago. And then hopefully we can get this back in the recurring circuit. So, all right, so back, relax. And enjoy the madness. Okay, bye-bye. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever it might be. I hope you're ready for some fun facts with Discord, because I'm about the same with my mouth flapping thing. Okay. There are four stages of sleep. Stage one through two is light sleeping or half sleeping. Three is deeper sleep, and four is the deepest sleep. Dreaming actually happens in the second and third stages, and the dreams you remember happen are in the first stage. Because for the most part, the part of your brain that records and stores memories is asleep. You always are dreaming, but you don't remember most of them, which is why you can't not dream. You just don't remember your dreams. That's trippy. The dark region of the north pole of Pluto's moon, Sharon, is called Mordor. Good luck trying to throw your ring into that, Elijah Wood. If you die in Amsterdam with no next of kin, and no friends or family to prepare a funeral or mourn over a body, a poet will write a poem for you and recite it at your funeral. That's actually really sweet. The Mad Max Fury Road movie was filmed with as little CGI as possible, with a lot of the stunts being really, 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 really real. That scene where the dirt biking savages are attacking the war rig? Actual motocross professionals jumping over a speeding supercharged cargo truck and chucking actual firebombs at it. The scene with the polecats attacking the war rig? Actual stuntmen dangling from swinging poles attached to speeding hot rods. Don't worry, they had safety harnesses. The head stuntman is former British Special Forces and insisted that him and the crew perform the stunts as real as possible. And they did a dang good job with that movie. I think I've talked about this before, but it's Winston Churchill, so who cares? Winston Churchill killed German soldiers with a bow and arrow. He also carried a sword into battle and was known for being so aggressive he was able to use German soldiers and take them prisoner by yelling at them. Rule number one in war. Do not mess with a man named Winston. There are extremely rare goth chickens running around Indonesia. Due to a dominant genetic mutation, chickens of the I.M. Samani breed are entirely black. From their feathers, beaks, tongues, to their meat, bones, and internal organs. Kinda wish they were called edge chickens though. I 110% agree with you, Crosgo. Human brains have the most brain folds out of any mammal. Brain folds are creases that occur in the front of your brain so that all the matter can fit inside of your skull. And the more folds there are, the more connection between neurons and, you know, the higher general intelligence capacity. This is because humans have a fully developed frontal cortex responsible for higher thinking processes, on top of the primitive animal brain. So just remember, anytime you feel like you're not having a bright moment, you're probably still smarter than most living creatures on this planet. When you see the word bee, you think of a honeybee. Honeybees have colonies with one queen and a bunch of female workers. This, however, is not the case for most species of bee. In fact, many bees are solitary and do not form colonies. One such bee is an American bumblebee that is threatened because honeybees are taking over the territory. Because honeybees have successfully integrated into America, bumblebees are threatened because of the lack of food. So please take care of our little fuzzy guys. They're very lonely and they could use help. It has been discovered that the Egyptian pyramids were covered in lye, which was chipped away and damaged until only the structure underneath was visible. Scientists say that the pyramids, when new, would have been pure white and highly reflective. What we have now is basically the skeletons of pyramids, which now sounds freaking cool. And ding dang final news! Spider-Ham isn't the only animal version of Spider-Man. There's also Spider-Monkey, Spider-Cat, and the man spider, a Spider-Man made out of spiders, called Spider's Man. God bless you, Stanley. It's been a while since I've done a fun fact with Discord. I apologize for that, so what do you say we get right into it? In the original drafts of A New Hope, R2-D2 was going to speak, and with a very foul mouth of that. While this would become his signature beeps and boops, the reactions of the characters that could understand him, namely C-3PO and other droids, were largely unchanged. I mean, R2-D2 has been around since Phantom Menace. Bro's seen some stuff, I don't blame him. There is a debate among scientists over how to classify giant pandas. Are they bears? Or equally possible, are they raccoons? If you think those two things are entirely different and cannot be confused, 
you don't know pandas. And then there's the extreme mode, red pandas. When a crow dies, the crows of the dead's murder, a group of crows, will gather around to not only mourn the dead, but also search for the cause of death to warn other crows. If the death was of other animals doing, yes, humans count as animals, they will get very noisy and start to call the news to other crows as a warning. Should the killer return, the crows will become hysterical and get noisy again, sometimes swooping at the killer if they were a wild animal. Don't mess with crows, they have hearts. Anonymous sent thousands of all-black faxes to the Church of Scientology to deplete all of their ink cartridges. I wish I could be that chaotic good. The idiom seeing is believing leaves out half of the original sentence. The full quote from the 17th century English clergyman Thomas Fuller is, Seeing is believing, but feeling is the truth. I want to say that would be a good quote to follow, but sometimes feelings becoming facts has become a downfall. Annually, the world's population consumes so much Nutella that if you were to gather all the jars used in one year, you could span the entire length of the Great Wall of China eight times over. I mean, have you had Nutella? It's, it's good. It's really good. I'm eating some right now. You don't know that. In Pokemon's first three games, the NPCs claim that the Psychic type is weak to Ghost type Pokemon, but there are many problems with this. First off, more well known, the only Ghost types at the time, the Ghastly line, are Poison type and therefore weak to Psychic moves. This is further held up by the fact that the NPCs are lying to you. In Gen 1 games, Psychic types are actually immune to Ghost type moves. Additionally, while many people ask for a Light type to be added, the Fighting type already acts as such. In Japanese, the Fighting type is the Hero type. Interestingly contrasting with the dark type being called the evil type, and the dark being weak to fighting. To further prove such, the psychic type is weak to dark and beats fighting. This reflects a common plot device, illustrated best by Star Wars. The hero Luke is nowhere near as strong as the wise mentor, Obi-Wan, but manages to defeat the villain, Darth Vader, but not before the mentor is killed by the villain. While not being a literal light type, fighting type is still the best match for such a type. On other Pokemon type related subjects, the most common type is water, while the rarest is ice. OS21 Arctic, did you just turn my entire fun facts with Discord into Digino Gaming? In The Crucible by Arthur Miller, there was an old man named Giles Corey who was killed by being pressed to death with giant stones and remained silent. This was no random event the author put in, because there were historical records during the Salem witch hunts of an old man named Giles Corey who died by being pressed to death under heavy stones, and his last words were not a confession, but instead were the equivalent to the middle finger, and were more weight. Thus, his farm remains under his family's ownership. That is a hell of a way to go out in that time. The 2D platformer Shovel Knight is actually rendered as flat textures in a 3D space, as making it that way made it easier to program and find bugs. Oh, uh, that explains why the file size for Shovel Knight is so big. The highest grossing film of all times is the James Cameron Avatar. And if this fact doesn't make you angry, think for a second and see if you can name any character from the movie. Then watch Endgame. Which is slowly making its way to number one if it hasn't already by the time this video comes out. In SpongeBob SquarePants, there is an episode where Bubble Bass uses a strange lingo to order food at the Krusty Krab. Prompting Squidward to quip, We serve food here, sir. The reason Squidward is confused is because Bubble Bast used diner lingo, a form of verbal shorthand diner waitstaff use when passing orders to the chef. The fact SpongeBob recognizes and deciphers the lingo heavily implies SpongeBob once worked at a diner. However, the only issue with this is SpongeBob did not make what the diner lingo was supposed to be. If you actually go and look up what Bubble Bass ordered, it is a very, very big sandwich. Mega Man is not called Mega Man in Japan. Instead, Mega Man is called Rock Man, or Rock for short. Proto Man is also not Proto Man, but instead is called Blues. Mega Man has a sister named Roll, and there is a side character named Bass, or Bass. It's, I think it should be Bass because of what's about to come up. Altogether, they are Rock and Roll, Blues, and Bass. Love it. Love it. And a ding dang finally. A 4chan post read, Art used to be something to cherish. Now literally anything could be art. This post is art. Later, it would be photographed, framed, and then sold for $90,900 on eBay. Oh look, 4chan did something good for once.
Well, hello everybody. I am inside a hotel right now, but I did not want to leave you guys hanging with no video for today. So today we're going to do some very pleasant sounding fun facts with Discord. All right? All right. A lot of reptiles love being handled and cuddled. The warm heat of humans is very enjoyable for the cold-blooded animals. And added just in case, don't actually go around picking up random reptiles. Not all of them are friendly. If you have a reptile pet though, take him out and spend time with them a lot. They're sure to appreciate it. My brother actually has iguanas and he does the same thing with them all the time. Rattlesnakes have learned to not shake their rattles around people to protect themselves. They'll only rattle if discovered in the open. Well, rattlesnakes, you're supposed to do stealth checks. Don't, don't do that. It's actually not dangerous to wake someone up if you see them sleepwalking. The most you'll get is probably an irritated and sleepy friend, but it's safer to wake them up and return them to bed than having them possibly get hurt when walking around. I have to do this with my dad 24 seven. He is a sleepwalker and it's just, he has crashed into the fridge once. So if I hear him fumbling around downstairs, I just gently tap him on the shoulder and say, dad, go back to bed, please. Coming back to life after being clinically dead and have CPR having failed to work is known as having Lazarus syndrome. Causes still up debate, but there are several thought causes. One of such theories is that pressure is built up in the chest due to CPR, and once the pressure loosens and gives the heart space to expand. This brings up ethical issues, such as when you should retrieve organs from organ donors and do autopsies on the body. However, if too long is waiting to see if circulation will start again, organs from organ donors may die or become unstable, and autopsies may become more difficult. Most people who have experienced Lazarus Syndrome report death to be a very peaceful nothingness, and do not fear death any longer. Some even go as far to say they can't wait to go back. Damn. People who take longer and usually hotter showers tend to be lonely people, according to Yale's emotion researches. Scientists have actually known for a while that social warmth or coldness can be caused by physical warmth or coldness and vice versa. The study showed that people who were deprived of social warmth were literally seeking it out in the bathroom. Damn again. Less a fun fact and more of a life hack. A good substitute for soda is to mix normal sparkling water with a flavor with low calories. For example, Crystal Light Lemonade. Tastes just like soda, but much less calories. I've done this before. It actually does work pretty well. Not quite there yet, but honestly, if you're trying to quit soda, might help. In Minecraft, you can color beacons, right? But if you want to make the ultra gay beacon, it looks bad because of chunky glass, but you can use glass panes and you won't even see the smallest bit of it. Now go make your gay bean, you're welcome. And finally, in order to understand a pun, your brain uses both left and right hemispheres because of the unique structure of the joke. Maybe that's why most people say their head hurts after they hear one. <laughs> well, gosh, golly, it has been a long time since we've done a fun facts of Discord. It's probably because I really got stuck into doing Tumblr videos for a while. But here we go for whatever number this is, because I'm not looking at my phone to look at it, but okay, here we go. Early in its career, Electromotive Diesel was known as Electromotive Corporation. EMC's most notable achievements were and still are the E-Series passenger diesel electric locomotives. Until the E6, each class of the E-Series was custom built for the railroad that wanted them. This example is the E2, built in 1937 as two ABB sets. For reference, an A unit is the leading unit, which contains a cab, and B unit is a cabless booster unit controlled by the sets of A units. The recipient of the E2 sets was none other than the Union Pacific Railroad, who used them on two named passenger trains, the City of San Francisco and City of Los Angeles. Each ABB set produced 5,400 horsepower, with a single unit producing 1,800 horsepower alone. God dang, that's a fast train. While Suteri Pratchett's 41 novel long Discworld series may be intimidating to new readers, it is not a continuous narrative, but a collection of standalone narratives that can be divided into seven different series, each with their own recurring protagonist. These being the Rincewine series, the Witches series, the Death series, the City Watch series, the Moist Von Lipwig series, the Tiffany Aching series, and the Industrial Revolution series. If only certain other shows and or book series were like that. One Piece, Bleach, Naruto, Conan. I'm looking at all of you right now and judging. October, November, and December used to be the 8th, 9th, and 10th months respectively on the old 10-month calendar that early Romans used, aligning with their root words. 
when Julius Caesar and Augustus Caesar came into power, they made months named after themselves and put them in the middle of the year when the calendar was remodeled into the one we have today, without changing the names of the other months. An additional fun fact, Julius and Augustus wanted their months to have the most days. It is also why February has 28 days. Well, thanks, Caesar. There is a pain condition called RSD, Reflex Sympathetic Dystrophy, or CRPS, Complex Regional Pain Syndrome, or COSALGIA, that is recorded to be the world's worst pain conditions. One, the McGill pain chart, it stands at 45, worse than amputation of a digit or childbirth. This has no cure, no real treatment, and can affect children or adults. Often in children, when caught early, it can be cured, but if not caught early, it can be spread throughout the body. Sometimes it's caused by nerve damage type 1 or due to an injury type 2, but in rare cases, there is no specification. Type 3 NOS. Type 1 rarely spreads, and it isn't cold or hot, a plain vanilla version. Type 2 can spread, can be hot or cold, affects the skin color, and can be an overall bother. Type 3 has no specifications. It spread, causes rashes, both hot and cold, affects how limbs work, and is the worst version as most normal treatments don't work. Studies are rarely conducted. Some doctors have never heard of it, and many cases go undiagnosed. I don't have a witty comment for that. This just sounds terrifying. Lapis lazuli is usually associated with the color blue. Lapis lazuli, however, can contain pyrite or calcite, giving the blue rock a neat mixture of yellow or white, respectively. Yeah, but blue is cooler, and I can use it to, like, enchant stuff because crystals are cool. Okay. Roger Waters believes the song The Phantom of the Opera is plagiarized from Pink Floyd's Echoes, but that life's too long to bother with suing Andrew freaking Lloyd Webber. Roger, I can agree. Although, if you get the right amount of detail, you might win that case, who knows? The feet measurement was originally created and measured by the current king's foot size. Every time there was a new king, his feet would be measured and become the new official measurement for feet. After a while, this ended and the feet measurement was set to the 12 inches we use today. Why did it end, you might ask? Well, because the people were always getting mixed up and had trouble getting accurate measurements or remembering the current king's foot size. Yeah, and especially back in the day where they didn't have the internet or, the, or like a faster form of news announcing. Like, hey, by the way, our new king's foot size is smaller than our last king's, so change, 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 your, change your systems, change it now, do it, do it, do it, do it. There was once a secret volcanic eruption. When Mauna Loa in Hawaii erupted in April 1942, the U.S. military told newspapers and radios not to say anything about it. The concern was that Japanese bombers could carry out nighttime raids, using light from the lava to guide them to the island. Later, when lava started to threaten the water supply for Hilo, the military tried to redirect the lava flows by bombing them. It didn't work, clearly. But the eruption soon ended on its own, and the water supply was safe. Wow, I'm just amazed that they tried to stop lava by blowing it up. The cartoon Phineas and Ferb, Perry the Platypus, is actually voiced by a man. Dee Bradley Baker is a talented voice actor who is well known for vocalization of animals. He is also Momo from Avatar The Last Airbender. Other interesting voice actors in Phineas and Ferb include Dan Pavenmeyer and Jeff Swampy Marsh, the duo behind Phineas and Ferb. The band Love Handles lead singer Danny is voiced by the lead singer of Bowling for Soup, Jarrett Reddick, and Ryoko Nagata is Candace. If the name sounds familiar, she is also Takako Nakanishi from The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right. Sanic the Hedgehog's iconic shoes are based off of Michael Jackson's shoes and Santa Claus's color scheme. Way past cool, I guess? In Super Smash Brothers! And Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. King DDD is voiced by Masahiro Sakurai, the creator of both Kirby and Super Smash Brothers. On one hand, cool. On the other hand, I get it. It was just easier to voice the characters yourself. In 1979, the horror film Phantasm was made on such a low budget that director Don Cascarelli ended up renting the camera equipment from a local rental store that was closed on weekends, taking out day rentals on a Friday to get two days worth of free filming time. Now that is how you film on a budget. Also, if you did that now, that would be ridiculous. In the Pokemon games, computer opponents will never use the same move more than three times in a row. Unless, of course, they have no other option. Roll out. This is also incorporated into the Pokemon anime, 
characters only use moves up to three times in a row and constantly follow the general speech pattern, use attack, use attack again, attack one more time. Oh my God, they're right. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> this changes everything. A common Hollywood legend states that Bruce Lee's punches were so fast that they had to slow down the footage so that they looked believable. The truth is, when Bruce shot his first fight scene on the Green Hornet, his punches were so fast that they were not even caught on camera, so the studio had him hold back on his own. Only then could they slow down the footage. Bruce Lee has a power level unlike anyone on this planet. Hand ding ding finally is. In Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the 1974 version, the iconic chainsaw dance was never scripted. He was just supposed to mope around, but Gunnar Hansen thought it would be better if he threw a fit like a child who didn't get the thing it wanted. And yeah, that's terrifying. Because, God, children are terrifying, so imagine a giant one with a chainsaw throwing a hissy fit. Oh boy, am I right? Okay, bye-bye. Well, hi. Hey. It's been a long time since I did a fun facts with Discord to the point that I almost felt like it was just dead forever and it made me sad. But it's back! We're gonna do another one and... Yeah, okay, enough explaining, here we go. Dogs, like people, have personalities. If a service or work dog doesn't have a personality suited to the job they were bred for, they either get a career change or are retired as a pet. That'd be very interesting if I worked with people. Although, that, that, that very last part, uh, that's, uh, <laughs> that, that's a little suggestive. Shiny wasn't officially used in Pokemon games until Gen 5, and before the term was coined, Shining was the official term for Shinies. I actually like Shining a lot more than Shinies. Um, can we go back to that place? I agree with Kazuto here. I like this more. Some humans may have the genetic capacity to hibernate. Oh, that would explain so much of my life right now. There was a single frame in Jurassic Park where they missed up. In the scene where the T-Rex bites down upon the Velociraptor after a corner of the family, the T-Rex lifts the Velociraptor only for it to disappear in one single frame. And apparently Sterilux would like to thank Corda Crew for teaching him this. So yeah, thank you, I'm gonna have to go watch that now. It's against the law to murder someone, but in Joyzy, it's double against the law to murder someone while you are wearing a bulletproof vest. See if you can follow along. Wearing a bulletproof vest while committing or attempting to commit a crime of the first degree is a crime of the second degree. Jersey, you guys okay? Do, 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 we, do we need to call the police? The word ketchup actually comes from the Chinese word for fish sauce, which is why we call it tomato ketchup instead of just ketchup. I feel like I need to verify that one a little bit more. I... maybe. I, okay. On his way to the Holy Land during the Third Crusade, the German king Frederick Barbosa fell off his horse and drowned in a few inches of water. <laughs> Rip an F indeed. Well, they really made this one short, so I'm going to try to detail a little bit more. A vast majority of our primal instincts actually comes from our leaps in evolution. Our fight or flight instincts can come from wanting to go inside during the rain, fears of what lies in the dark, if we're backed into a corner in a cave, you know, all those, all those things, yeah. There was an episode of the 1980s Transformers cartoon where Megatron and the Decepticons got drunk by drinking too much Energon. <sighs> Don't do drugs, kids. Unless, you know, you're a bad guy in a giant robot suit that morphs into an attack helicopter, then go ahead. Clearly, you did a lot of drugs to reach that face. <laughs> the song, London Bridge is Falling Down, was based on real events in which the London Bridge actually did fall down. Multiple times even after being rebuilt and killed a large amount of people. Also, in the case of the famous Ashes, Ashes, We All Fall Down. Oh, God, I know this one. It is based on a horrible event. That event being the Black Plague. We All Fall Down represents the people who died of the sickness. While on the topic, many known Walt Disney stories were based on dark versions of the Brothers Grimm tales that did not have very happy endings. For one example, the stepsisters in Cinderella cut off their toes so the shoe could fit. All in all, many childhood things we know had very dark stories behind them. I mean, yeah, 
just look at the original story of Pocahontas. That was a very dark story, and Disney was like, Ha ha, I bet we could teach this to kids! And... Finally. In the game Celeste, there is a level called the Mirror Temple. If you reverse it at the end of the track, it will sound the same as the beginning. Hence, Mirror. Oh, cool, palindrome song, I like that. Reverse far enough, and you will hear the game's main character talking about her anxiety and depression she suffers through. Hold on a second, what? Celeste, the platformer? talks about this i i'm gonna have to go look i'm gonna have to go look that up uh hold on i yeah I'll, they, thank you guys for watching i'm gonna have to go do some research on this because that's interesting okay bye